Hey there, I am Parth Joshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my lessons with you by making videos. So here I am with an another use case using document understanding. Let me give you a quick overview of what we'll be seeing in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a complete, you can say, use case or a complete application which can be used as a business process for processing documents. So in this video, we are going to <coughs> build a workflow means i have already built the workflow but we are going to see how we can do that so we are going to build a workflow which will download the invoice when it comes to your mail after downloading the invoice it will save in a particular folder and after it is saved in a particular folder it will process the document and extract the data and write it into an excel file so without any further delay let's get started now the first thing you need to do is configure your mail so here i am using imap mail messages so here you need to fill the following details the mail folder i have given it as inbox so if you can see over here i have sent one invoice which is there the first mail then there is a port number for imap it is 993 and the server is imap.gmail.com now i have created two variables email and password where I have typed my email and password. Now, what I'm doing is I'm only reading the unread messages. So whenever new mail comes, it will read it, it will process the document and it will then mark it as read. So if you want to mark it as read, you will need to select mark as read. After that, I am just reading the top two mails since I have in the top and just I'm <coughs> doing it for the purpose of this particular use case. So I'm just reading the first two mails over here. Now, once you have configured this in the output, you need to create a variable mail message. So it will store the mail message for us. Now, after that, to save the attachment, you need to save each of the mail message. So you need to run a loop for each of the mail message you are getting. And the type of this particular argument needs to be system.net.mail.mail message. So this you can get by just going to browse for types then you can, can type system.net <coughs> then you can go over here and you will find this mail message so you need to select this particular argument now after that done that's done we are going to save the attachment which we are getting through the mail so i'm storing them in a folder called download attachments downloaded attachments and here I am passing the mail variable, which is system of type argument system dot net dot mail message. So here we have completed half part of our workflow, or you can say the part one, where we are reading the mail, downloading the invoice, and saving it in a particular folder. Now after we have done that, we need to create create an array object of string, which will help us get the files from the downloaded attachments folder. So to get each the file, you need to type directory dot get files environment dot current directory dot to string, and our current directory is going to be this download attachments downloaded attachments. So that will be stored in a variable called input file, which is of array of string. Now after you have done that, we'll process each of the files in that folder. Now since we are, if there are many unread mails, you might have three or four attachments or something so they all might be downloaded in that that particular folder which we have selected now the type of for each should be object after that we are going to just follow the simple document understanding generic workflow step which is loading the taxonomy digitizing the document then we are doing data extra uh, data extraction scope yeah then we are doing present validation that is an optional step if you want human validation you can do that if not, you can remove it if you are sure like your data is getting extracted. And after that, there is export extraction results. So here in taxonomy manager, so I will sh show you the taxonomy manager where I've created the taxonomy to extract the values. Now, my taxonomy is over here john belling so this is the type so i am going now what if the question might come by watching this video is 
what if we have two or three types of document then you can just define the taxonomy over here and i will in the description add a link wherein i have tried to extract data from two or three different types so you can follow that steps if you have two or three different types of invoices but you have if you have only one then you just need to create a group then a category and define the fields you want to extract the data so like this you can create the taxonomy extract the data now the second step is digitizing the document here i am using tesseract ocr so i have passed the document path which i am getting from this for each after that third step is data extraction scope so here we are passing the document type id which you can get from the taxonomy.json file i have passed my api key which you can get from cloud.uipath.com by going to other services and then here i am storing the extracted results in the variable called extracted results so these are the generic step if you would like to know what each of the step does or what it's important is there is a complete playlist where i have explained all the videos i will add the link in the description as well after that i have created a template so if you go to manage templates you can create a template after that i have included present validation to validate my data like whether i am getting the properly extracted values or not after that the data is export extraction results so i have used export extraction results when in we are passing the validated data to present validation and then we are getting a data set now that data sets are converted into tables and we are using that tables to write the data in our excel file so only the additional step in st after you can say the generic workflow of document understanding was getting the mail saving the attachment to a particular folder and then marking that email as read and processing the document so let me run this workflow and see whether we are able to get the expected output or not so debug file also i've kept slow step over here so that we can see what all steps it's growing through so now it is starting the execution it is getting the mail the first two mails now it is saving the attachments in the download attachments folder after that assign file so now it will it has taken the file digitizing now data extraction also ocr can be changed depending upon your application if your invoices are able to or documents are able are processed using tesseract you can keep that or you can use abi or you can use whichever is more more suitable for your you can say documents for my tesseract was working so i used that even you can use omni page now the present validation screen should come okay so now the invoice was downloaded properly i have the invoice with me along with the extracted data all the data are extracted properly from to the invoice number so let me just save this continue and save export extraction results right range so it will write the data into the excel file okay now the process is ended let's check my gmail so as you can see this particular email was unread after processing it it marked it as read so now in case if you have multiple emails it will happen accordingly so let's do a quick recap of what we saw in this tutorial so in this tutorial we can say we joined two particular different processes one was email automation that is reading the emails downloading the attachments saving them in the folder after that taking the files from that folder processing them and extracting the data into an excel file so now here there are three parts excel automation document understanding and then excel part where we are writing the data so thank you for watching the complete video do check out the description links of other videos if you would like to know more in detail or find out different use cases 
related to document understanding i have approximately 10 to 12 videos on that and also if you want to understand completely what is document understanding i have made very short videos and try to explain very precisely like what is document understanding and each of the steps in detail please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet and press the bell icon to stay updated with all the new use cases i come up with thank you